have you guys met Trish, right? No. It's her third time today, and uh, she lives with Parkinson. So let's just chill out a little bit. Let's our body just do whatever he wants. Joseph, if you want, you just do this up and down. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Switch leg, left leg forward. Control your back leg, and let's go down. Parkinson sucks because you can't tell what one day is going to be like. So you may have a great day one day. You're not stiff. You're moving. Your speech is coming out clear. Everything seems like before you got sick. And then you have days that are really tough. So. Good morning. How are you? Okay. How are you? Good. Uh, I made it. Good. Okay, my name is Antonio Barbera, and I used to be a physician here in Colorado. I'm originally from Italy. The Neuropong is a ping pong program tailored to people with MS like me, Parkinson, and Alzheimer. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2016. Um, you guys don't know that there are many invisible symptoms, but I have an elephant sitting on my chest. It is from this elephant that all this started. In November 2019, I was playing a little bit of ping pong with my son in the garage, and I felt strange. I said, whoa, what is going on? I had this weird sensation. This elephant was not anymore on my chest, was sitting on a chair. I said, wow, is that possible that this simple paddle and a simple ball may relieve this symptom? I was able to spot, after three weeks of playing with me, significant change. And that is why people need to know, and I want to bring science behind the benefit of these sports. Neuroplasticity is essentially your brain's ability to rewire itself. And as you age, that tends to go away. What they found is people who continually challenge himself and learn new things, can maintain that, that neuroplasticity over, over time. And then I actually have taken it to the extreme where I'm right-handed, I have the problems with my right shoulder. So I just started playing left-handed, but I had to learn basically how to do everything with my left hand, so. You know, ping pong is one sport and it relies on a lot of quick reactions and you got to think quickly to move toward the wall. I'm a, I'm a believer. Like when I'm playing ping pong, the Parkinson's part just kind of goes away. Hey partner, wake up. Get that fool out of the net. getting together with all these people and as you'll find out as the couple of hours goes on there'll be more people sitting talking than there are playing. A big part of this is a camaraderie. The camaraderie or the camaraderie? Yeah. Uh, the social social aspect of people who have Parkinson's and we all kind of fight some of the same battles and have some of the same successes. It's fun to be together. Okay you may shake a little bit less. Your balance is much better. Your and the eye coordination is much better. It's really not just you as a mechanical machine that may improve something, but you as a person, <laughs> body and soul. And that is indeed the core of Neuropong. We really care about each single individual that is completely unique and different than anybody else. Feeling good. This lady's wearing me out. probably learned that you see one Parkinson's person you've seen one Parkinson's person you know all our symptoms are so different yeah that we get the most information from from each other our people you know how are you dealing with this how you know so that's um, 
priceless. So we are connecting. And this, for me, is what I call human plasticity. Um, with all these people behind me, they are playing table tennis. I connect at a human level. I tease them. They tease me. Uh, we became friends. We are really creating a community. So there are those five, six, seven, eight, 15 things that we need to think at once. Yeah. And that is what is complex. So always in your mind is me, you. And table tennis, because of its speed, chest on steroids. I feel better, actually. I have a lot of back issues also, so I can't stand very long. But when I'm engaged with that, then I forget my back a while. But actually, it's good for my brain. You know, it makes my brain work better, I think. I didn't have use of either arm or either leg 20 years ago. I was paralyzed. So I'm making progress. The first time I played, I held the table the whole time. And now I can, I can stand by a couple of feet and move a little bit and play a little bit better. I'm moving and grooving. I'm talking. Now you can't shut me up. A lot of people with a mistake, they can't get better. But I probably can. I'm D. You like to laugh? I do like to laugh. My, my first time, I went home. I mean, I haven't laughed so much in ages. <laughs> Didn't we just switch? OK. Again, being diagnosed with something like Parkinson is kind of on your mind all the time, you know? And that's really what I want to get rid of, because I feel pretty normal on the medication. And <laughs> And so ping pong, what, how I feel when I'm playing is I forget about everything else. Ha, 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 ha.